trust issue in a relationship building trust in a relationship hi guys my name is lena semenek and this is my youtube channel psychology of happiness where happiness is the purpose of life so this question came from my youtube channel from one of you guys uh, a woman is asking my boyfriend is in germany and i'm in mexico but his visa is taking too long and the more time passes the more insecure and scared i feel we are going to get married on December, but I'm going crazy because he should have been here since June 1st. Sometimes I believe he did it to get some time free, but I have no evidence. He is very sweet to me. We video chat every day. He is committed 24-7 to me. But still, there is something inside of me telling me that this delay might have been on purpose planned by him. Should I confront him? And how can I know if he's telling me the truth? I only want to know the truth. Thank you. So how can you know if uh, the guy or a girl is telling you the truth? How can you confront a person and should you confront a person? How to deal with those feelings inside you when you feel that something is not quite right? and you don't want to scrub your relationship but at the same time those thoughts are bothering you and you're not feeling happy so let's talk about trust in the relationship trust is the key element of any relationship especially if you are planning to get married with a person if you don't have trust right now then in your marriage you will have a lot of problems uh, but how to confront a person uh, if you feel that something is not right? And should you confront the person? Yes, you should. But do not take any instant decisions. Take one, two, three days. Let your emotions uh, come down if possible. And if in three days situation did not change, then talk to your person. But instead of confronting him, instead of blaming him, uh, use I statement say I feel sad it's very hard for me to talk about this I'm afraid to tell you uh, my feelings uh, um, I feel that our connection is not there anymore or you can say I miss you a lot or for example you can say um, I would like to have a trustful, open relationship and it's very important for me to tell you that, blah, blah, blah. So when you talk to your partner, use I statement. I feel sad, I feel bad, I am worried, I am afraid. It's very hard for me. And then when you share your feelings, when you open your heart, then the person might share his feelings and he might start opening his heart because if you're gonna confront him or blame him then it's gonna be only an argument and your relationship will go in you know down instead of growing and you know creating something bigger so how you can build trust in a relationship step by step do not rush uh, start sharing with your partners what's happening in your life, your concerns, your worries, maybe some of your problems, maybe some of your fears, but uh, do not uh, you know, tell him a huge drama that happens in your life if you just start dating or if you're at the beginning of the relationship, because your partner might might, might not know how to react, he might not um, face this type of situations before and you might scare him so um, it might be also hard for you because if you were raised in a family and your parents did not talk to each other uh, about their concerns their fears then you probably uh, get used to hold your feelings and emotions inside you and when you could not do it anymore it was a big argument or big scandal and it's not gonna help your relationship it's gonna destroy them so you have to learn how to trust other person and you have to learn how to open your heart your feelings uh, start by telling your partner maybe something 
small, maybe some stories in your childhood when you wanted to have a toy but your parents did not buy it for you. Or maybe when everyone got an ice cream and you did not because you had an allergy. Or um, maybe something else, but see how your partner reacts. So do not overload your partner with your traumas and your hard situations. Uh, start little by little because trust is something that should grow in a couple. It's not going to happen like this. It's going to happen over time. So take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, your feelings, and take care of your partner, of his emotions and of his reactions. If you would like to know how to build a happy relationship that lasts long, I will leave the link to another video below this one. Share this video with your friends, share your opinions below, uh, write your comments, ask your questions, and your question might be the topic of the next video. And if you have a private question, contact me privately. The links will be below the video. I offer online private sessions and webinars. Share this video with your friends, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.